here. All hey, right, let's birthday. look at the quarterbacks that the birthday boy has going in the first round. That's what I'm going to do the whole day. I am not calling you by name. I'm calling you the birthday boy. Uh, the birthday boy's got them all off the board in just 12 picks. Bryce Young to Carolina. The Texans do an interdivision trade to get C.J. Stroud to the Colts. Then Anthony Richardson, 5 of Seattle, Hendon Hooker, Tennessee Titans at 11. Uh, Houston then snags Will wow. Levis with the second pick in the first in the first right. round. Quite the scenario there, birthday boy. Some might call it fascinating, mm -hmm. intriguing, but which quarterback has the most fascinating round one scenario that they could play into? Will Levis. Mm. Mm. Will Levis could go fourth overall to the Colts. Will mm. Levis could have the greatest Thursday evening mm. that he had that you can imagine. He can go fourth overall to the Colts. He can go second overall to the Texans. He could have an amazing draft experience where he just focused on being him, got to the draft, got selected in the top five, and he's going to be a quarterback week one starting in the NFL. Or he could slide. I don't know right now. I, I've heard Colts, Colts, Colts the last few days. I put out my mock draft and had Stroud to the Colts, and I had to get creative. I had him trading up for him. And now I'm hearing, you know, if, Levi, if they don't have Stroud and they don't have Young, Levis seems to be a potential Colts quarterback, which to me is a lot of smoke. But when you're talking about a team that is desperate for a quarterback at four, the Indianapolis Colts are desperate for a quarterback at four, Will Levis might be the guy for them. But if it's not the right. Colts, you start going down this list, Five Seattle, mm -hmm. they got Geno. I don't know if that means that the quarterbacks weren't. Maybe they can get a Tyree Wilson yeah. or a Will Anderson. Then he starts talking about Detroit. They're not going QB there. Are the Raiders the Will Levis team? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. You start doing this thing. Four is clean for Will Levis. I'm going to go four to the Colts. If it's not the Colts, I don't know where Will Levis ends up. I put him on the Texans with their 12th pick in my mm -hmm. mock draft. I'll be honest, that was me being like, I need to put Will Levis somewhere, and the Texans need a quarterback. Let's match them together. I haven't heard any real connection between those two players. So this is now jigsaw puzzle time, and it's which quarterback are you hearing to which team, and who would make sense, and what connections. Uh, Will Levis to the Colts is what I've heard as a, as a team that would make a lot of sense, and around yeah. the league they're like, if it's not there, I don't know where. Yeah. So it could be one of those days where he's sitting in the green room or it could just be clean and easy and he's there fourth overall and the Colts are the team and yeah. all right, we've got our match. Well, four is clean, but it's crazy high. I mean, it's a very, very <laughs> high pick. That's that's Four is rare air, but it's funny because you talk Colts, Colts, Colts. Have you seen Peyton Manning's takes on Will Levis? Like, Peyton is in. This is a headline I just read this morning on MSN. The headline says, Peyton Manning's bonkers NFL draft take on Will Levis will have GMs drooling. Mm. So Peyton's had some FaceTime with him. There's a TV show involved. Mm -hmm. So take that with you. Well, Peyton, quote, I think this guy might be genetically engineered to be an NFL quarterback. Mm. I can see what the scouts like from tough, durable, makes tight throws and tight windows. Like, Peyton is in. So, listen, there's certainly a, a lot of connective tissue between Peyton and the Colts and whatnot. But I, I have this thing that kicks in every single year and never more so than this year where I, uh, Jamie, you relates to this, my parental instincts kick in and I get protective. Mm. I get so nervous when I see the list of players attending the draft. Mm. Very nervous. Oh. Because it's, an, it's a great honor, it's a lifetime memory and everything. It's also a roll of the dice, boys. Like, there's a lot of players who are gonna be there in Kansas City. Four quarterbacks are gonna be there. Levis is there, Stroud is there, Young is there, Richardson is there, Hennon Hooker is not. And I think it's smart because as great as it is to walk up there and hold up that jersey, go ask Geno Smith what it's like to leave and go home after the first round and go back to the hotel like we didn't get drafted. Let me get a different suit, I guess, and come back the next day. Uh, it, it happens. It has happened. I feel like Levis has big time potential plunge mm -hmm. uh, factor. Would you say, okay, so. Plunge, and I don't want to see him sitting yeah. there for Daniel three Daniel Jeremiah hours. calls it pack a two suit guy, meaning like, mm, hey, smart. there are some prospects that you get invited to the draft, you bring a one suit, you're good. There are some prospects that are packed. Do you think it's a potential, if not Indianapolis for yeah. Pulls out of the first well, I'm, I'm the same as you. And those pack of two suit guys, listen, you got the agent in your ear, you should go, you should go, I'm here and you're gonna go, it's gonna be a great thing for you and we'll meet everybody and press the yeah. flesh. Hendon Hooker's not going, and I think it's very smart. He's an injured player who looks maybe the fourth, maybe the fifth. Even if I go and, oh, great, I got drafted 30th. Well, I sat here for four hours, and for my entire career they're going to show this. I think Levis has that potential. You know why? 
I, I think I, there's still, even in this era, I think teams are afraid of different, and he's very different. The personality is different. The body type is different. The stuff in college, the tape is not great. Mm -hmm. It's just potential and sleevelessness and all that. So I worry that he's going to be sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. I hope I'm wrong, yep. but... That may not be. That's the draft hype. We go back and forth, and you say that oh, he could sit there and wait, but we've talked about him so glowingly, whether it's Levis, whether it's Richardson. You just read a quote from Peyton Manning Love about him. It. She's like, oh, of course I'm going high in the draft. But I look at Will Levis and I turn it to Anthony Richardson with the draft type Same. and what everybody's saying about him because it's only been 13 games and it wasn't like he was 12 and one and he went out here and led Florida on this great run. There were six and seven out of 13 games, not a huge sample size. And then he goes and absolutely destroys the combine. So to me, he's that prospect where if you're a GM and you're a coach, you're just like, I mean, what this guy can do, his ability to sit in the pocket, his ability to get out, if he just decides to run, the throws he can make, how powerful uh -huh. his arm is, you can find it's all tasty. these, yes, you can find all these different things to say about him okay. and are just like, all right, somebody says it's not a huge sample size, you, you can't swing this high. They're like, well, the fact that it's not a huge sample size, well, he hasn't developed a lot of mistakes. So that's something that works in our favor. And they're just like, well, it's kind of a six and seven record. And they're like, well, you know what? He knows how to deal with adversity. It hasn't always been sunshine. Sure. the rainbows and he's had to bounce back so when you see a guy with those intangibles and the things that you just can't teach a franchise and organization you're sitting there and you almost come up with excuses why to swing so high and draft him so sure high do. and it's a scary thing because he may go out there and develop and be one of the best players in this year's draft or maybe there's people losing jobs because he's not that guy and he hasn't been able to develop but there's going to be somebody that says hey we can mold an Anthony Richardson to become the best quarterback in this draft mm -hmm. and lead our franchise for the next 15 years. But isn't Will Levis you don't think he's just as moldable or do you think the word mold comes with Richardson in a different Capacity. I think it comes with both of them. I just think the thing about Anthony Richardson is the athleticism mm. is just so off the charts. Yeah. That is just like, my goodness, his ceiling is, is so high. I asked you that question because uh, I wanted to avoid it. I can't decide. I cannot decide. Mm. And my answer officially is whoever is the third quarterback okay. off the board. Because we know Bryce Young is going to go. We know C.J. Stroud is going to go. We know, depending on which team matches up where, the scenarios that these two are getting put into. We get it. The Texans and the Panthers are in official rebuild face of the franchise franchise decision-making mm -hmm. mode. The next guy, it's the next guy, because when you look at draft classes and you look back and, oh, this guy played this way and this is how this career panned out, that third guy and the potential be between Richardson, Hooker, and Levis mm -hmm. is, it's a very different, I see the pathways going very differently, but they are officially going to be the third guy off the board for a team that did they trade up. It, was it also the Colts in need? The Levis thing, to me, fascinates me. To Peter, to your point, because the Texans' second pick at 12 is interesting, but at the team that sits in front of them Tennessee. is mm -hmm. what is fascinating because the Titans need a quarterback, but if I were the Texans, that would make me nervous. And I think he doesn't fall out of the first round. I don't think he's a two-suit guy because I think there are enough teams in the 20s that need yeah, a backup cool. quarterback the Minnesota Vikings. So whether it be if if Hendon Hooker is off the board, I think Will Levis goes in the 20s. If Levis is off the board, I think Hendon Hooker goes in the 20s. I think there's uh, uh, cross matching that's going to happen here with teams enough in the 20s that need either a guy next year to have like your rebuild guy. And remember, because of the rookie contracts, there is a great advantage to draft your quarterback in the first round mm. as opposed to the second round. You get him for five years mm -hmm. on the rookie contract oh, instead important. of four years, mm -hmm. which is why. In recent years, teams have traded up to get Teddy Bridgewater with the last overall pick, Lamar Jackson with the last mm. overall pick. So if Levis or Hooker or Richardson uh, is slipping and falling, you could very well see a team trade up to the first. Like get him on a five-year contract mm. as opposed to a four-year contract. I'll just say this. Before we say that, hey, it's Bryce Young, Stroud, and then it's the other three, we've done, I, you know, 2018, I don't think any of us at this point in the process saw it going Baker, Darnold, Allen, then Rosen. It could have been anywhere. Then Lamar was the fifth one. Crazy things happen in the draft. And whether it's Richardson goes as second quarterback or whether it goes Levis as second quarterback, we've seen it happen before. Just buckle up. The draft is a crazy, mm -hmm. crazy experience. My final